The party of Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen is being shaken by a spate of sexual harassment allegations. The online accusations against politicians, academics and cultural figures have prompted several high-ranking resignations in Tsai Ing-wen's ruling DPP party just months before national elections. Tsai and others have been forced to issue public apologies. The cases come in the wake of a popular Netflix series that has inspired some women to speak out. For more, let's cross to Taipei and DW correspondent William Yang. William, you've been in touch with uh, women who have come forward. Tell us more. Yes, so this Me Too movement that started uh, at the end of last month has really shocked the uh, Taiwanese political scene, but at the same time, uh, right now, it has spread to different uh, sectors in Taiwan, including academia, including in the diplomatic world, and also including in the business world and cultural world. And one of the victims that I talked to who put uh, come forward with her allegation is, in fact, a uh, Taiwanese woman who accused a pre former deputy head of the Polish office here in Taiwan for raping her twice. And the allegations that she put forward is very gruesome and detailed. But at the same time, uh, in an interview that she told me, I think uh, she is basically signaled the desire that the younger generation, especially the younger women, are no longer willing to just be suppressed and see the unjust things that have done to them violated their consent uh, for the sexual pleasure or the sexual any kind of harassment that has been conducted by men in a more powerful position to go unnoticed. And so that's one of the main resonance that has really uh, encouraged more than a dozen women that has come forward so far. And we are, in fact, I think, expecting more of the high profile figures who may have conducted any form of sexual harassment in the last few decades to potentially become new targets and new names that will be added to this long list of the names of men, women uh, that have been accused of uh, com right. committing sexual harassment in Taiwan. Coming forward against men in power always takes courage, but uh, what sets this, this matter apart in a place like Taiwan? So you would uh, imagine that Taiwan it is a very progressive democracy. We are the first country in Asia to legalize same-sex marriage. And this kind of thing should have not already happened or took place around the same time as the Me Too movement started in China and the United States. But because of the cultural difference or the culture of tolerating men making mistakes, especially powerful men making mistakes, and trying to uh, resolve these kind of uh, sexual harassment cases in private as a preferred way of not to embarrass these men in power. And so this practice has, in fact, become very prevalent and also become one of the reasons why women in the past do not feel like if they come forward, they'll be supported. Rather, they felt like if they try to go through the system that the government has uh, reportedly or as according to the law has set up to report these cases and file complaints, they might in fact uh, jeopardize their career opportunities in the future because these men in power would still be the one that will be making decisions of whether they get to be promoted or whether they should be losing their jobs after trying to make these men right. in powerful positions uh, very embarrassing. And, and how has this uh, new Netflix series Wave Makers fueled the scandal? So the Wave Maker is this very popular political drama that uh, started in April airing on Netflix in Taiwan, and it has really resonated a lot among people who have worked uh, in the political parties, work on campaign trails, and how in the in, in the drama itself, the political party that was being viewed as a uh, the reflection of the ruling Democratic Progressive Party here in Taiwan is in fact willing to step up and 
uh, advocate for women who face he sexual harassment. But in the reality is that uh, the right. party has been tolerating and even not really uh, coming forward to take these cases and complaints seriously. And so the women decided that they want to make sure that they can hold the party accountable. That's why it all started with four cases within the ruling party and then it just spread to other sectors in Taiwan. We'll leave it there for the time being. But thanks so much for talking to us. DW correspondent William Yang. Thank you.